Today I'm going to be showing you guys how Goyard makes plug-in B beats for summers. For this video we're solely focused on the drums. In the video I put out last Monday I showed you guys how I made this melody so if you want to learn how I made that make sure to go watch that video after this one. So let me just hop into the pattern so I can show you guys what I did. First off I started with a simple clap. Usually you would have another clap hitting in this area but I wanted to switch up the bounce a little bit so I took it out. Next up I just laid down a super simple hi-hat pattern. Hi-hats, not too complicated, nothing really much to talk about here, so let's just move on to the next sound. The next sound I added is a perk. Like I mentioned earlier with the clap, there's an open spot where usually another clap would hit, but I decided to use this perk for that slot instead just to mix up the bounce a little bit. And here's what it sounds like when it transitions from the clap to the perk with the hi-hats. I definitely recommend stepping out of your comfort zone of what you would usually do. I know producers just always default to the claps where they always have them, but even if it's something as simple as taking out a clap and adding a snare or a perk or just switching up the order of the sounds you use, I definitely recommend you do it to get yourself out of your comfort zone. And who knows, if you switch it up a lot with every beat you make, you might come up with a new unique sound. Next up we got an open hat at the start of the bar, and I also added a second open hat, but this one's reversed. Next I added a bongo perk, this is just a sound in the background that repeats itself over and over again. And the last sound we got is the 808. So I mentioned this in part one of this video where I went over the melody. The chord progression of the piano I'm using has four chords playing at the end and they're broken up between two squares each. And if you do that also with the 808 with the chords, it just sounds so much better. So just keep in mind if you're cutting up your chords like this, where they have space in between each chord. Make sure you're doing the same thing with your 808 pattern so it sounds good together. As you can see with the 808 pattern, I have them spaced out the exact same way. And when you put those two together, it sounds like this. Just a little tip I wanted you guys to know, so make sure you use it when you're making plug-in beat. For the mixing on the beat, it's very simple, all just leveling, except for the 808 where I have an EQ2 boosting the lows and taking out the highs. And there's also a default Fruity Soft Clipper on the master channel. So now that I've shown you guys everything, here's what the full beat sounds like. If you haven't seen the part 1 to this video already, make sure to click this video right over here to learn how I made the melody in today's beat.